Shalom. Call Hello, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalawam. To the Akiam and the Akwaf, of you brothers and sisters, Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother, Amawan Ibad, from the GMS Miami camp, back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. Now today's lesson is going to be entitled uh, Pray and Look to Jerusalem or the East. Okay? Pray and Look to Jerusalem or the East. Um, um, well, for me, okay, or uh, for brothers, okay, sisters that are on the, the, the Western Hemisphere, you know, we're supposed to look to the east, okay, pray to the east toward the city, you know, and, um, um, you have brothers, you know, of different parts of the, the earth, so wherever you at, you just turn toward, um, Jerusalem, you see, but for me, it'd be the east, okay, so, um, once again, the title of the lesson is Pray and look to Jerusalem or the east. Okay? And that the east is also symbolizes that that way, that ancient way, that ancient path. Okay, you know, we live in Western society where things are all uh mixed up and confused. Okay? Scripture tells you how you're supposed to look for the ancient way. You see? So um yeah. I'm going to read my title in the Hebrew. Palal, which is pray. Wa an mara luk la tu yerashalam. Okay. Or ha kwadam, the east. Kwadam, east. You see the ancient way, the ancient path. Okay. Yerashalam. You know, that's, that's, um, that's uh that's the city the holy city man you know of our land and um lord willing you know scripture speaks about the elect uh new jerusalem coming down you know you see as a bride adorned for her husband roughly paraphrasing um revelation 21 so yeah the, the holy city new jerusalem man your rashalam you know that's that's where uh, that's where the temple was built. And Solomon built the temple for the name of our Lord. You know, but now right now we are those temples, man. The spirit of the Lord dwells with us. You see, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see, the house of David is being built through the spirit. In these times, so we that, that uh, we 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 are those temples, man. Um, but I'm gonna start. <coughs> I'm going to start here in the book of 1 Kings because, you know, Solomon made a prayer going into that, and okay? So it's only fitting to, 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 to start with this scripture right here. This is 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 33, and I'll read down to verse 39. It says, and this is King Solomon's prayer, okay, before the people. The congregation of Israel. It says, When thy people Israel be smitten down before the, before the enemy, because they have sinned against thee, and shall turn again to thee, and confess thy name, and pray, and make supplication unto thee in this house. Okay. It says, Then hear thou in heaven, and forgive their sin. So that I can forgive the sin of thy people Israel, and bring them again unto the land which thou gavest unto their fathers. Okay? It says, When heaven is shut up, 
and there is no rain because they have sinned against thee. You know, whenever they shut up, there's no rain that, that brings famine, lack of food, you know. It says, if they pray toward this place, okay, toward this place, so wherever you are, pray toward uh, the holy city, man, Jerusalem. You see? And I say once again for, for me, brothers in the Western Hemisphere, it's, 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 looking, it's looking to the east, man. Look to the east. Palal wa mara la yarashalam ah ha kwadam. Okay? Pray and look to Jerusalem or the east. You see? It says, when, when, when heaven is shut up and there is no rain because they have sinned against thee, if they pray toward this place, <coughs> And confess thy name and turn from their sin when thou afflictest them. Then hear thou in heaven and forgive the sin of thy servants and of thy people Israel. That thou, that thou teach them the good way. Okay? The good way. You see? And that, that good way is, 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 is the east man. Kwadam. You know, everything starts over from the east okay from in ancient times okay teach them the good way wherein they should walk and give rain upon thy land which thou has given to thy people for inheritance you see reading down it says if there be in the land famine if there be pestilence blasting mildew locusts or if there be caterpillar if, if their enemy beseech them in the land of their cities, whatsoever plague, whatsoever sickness there be, what prayer and supplication soever be made by any man or by all thy people Israel, which shall know every man the plague of his own heart, and spread forth his hands toward this house. You see? So you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta pray. Okay, look toward Jerusalem, man, or the east, for for me, where am I? Okay, it says, um, then hear thou in heaven, thy dwelling place, and forgive and do and give to every man according to his ways, whose heart thou knowest, for thou for thou even thou only knowest the hearts of all the children of men. So, yeah, the Lord knows. The hearts of all men, okay, whether whether it be good or bad, you know. So, at the end of the day, you you, you have to um, make your prayer and supplication, okay, to the Lord, uh, toward uh, <coughs> Jerusalem, man. You see. Now. This last part it says, whose heart thou knowest, the Lord knows your heart. That's right. For thou even thou only knowest the hearts of all the children of men. And that's why the Lord tell you to turn back to him. You know, of we as a nation, as a people, we transgress against the Lord. The scriptures say, all of all of sin and fall short of the glory. Okay? So this is why you have to seek the Lord and repent. Turn back to him. Uh, acknowledge your transgressions. You see? Because all have fall short, fall, fallen short of the glory. Let's go here to the book of... Um, well, the point is to, to repent and look for that old way, man. You see? Um, let's get Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter... Uh, Jeremiah chapter... Uh, 3. This is Jeremiah chapter uh, 3. I'll start at verse 12. It says, Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return! Thou backsliding Israel, said the Lord, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, said the Lord. I will not keep mine anger forever. So the Lord tell you to turn. Come back to him. You see? Verse 13, it says, Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy power, and hast scattered thy ways through the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord. So the Lord telling you straight up, man. Turn to him. He's not going to keep his anger forever. You see? The Lord said, only acknowledge that you transgress against him. Verse 14, it says, Turn, O backsliding children, said the Lord, for I am married unto you. Okay? Because remember Israel, uh, what's that? Jeremiah 6 and 2. 
I want to say, well, the, the scripture tells you that Israel is likened uh, liken unto a common, delicate woman. Okay, the, the, the most high is the husbandman. So we, we married, okay, we espouse uh, 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 to, to, to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, man. You see? It says, Turn, O backsliding children, said the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you, one of a city, and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. You see? The Lord says he's going to bring you to Zion. It says, Verse 15, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Okay, you're going to have teachers, man, that's going to feed you. Feed you this word, man. And then you read in the scriptures. Scriptures tell you to uh, search the scriptures, the Lord said, man. Search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they that testify of me, meaning our Lord Yahushai. You know, scripture tells you to bless the man that read it and keep those prophecies. Keep the, the things that are written therein, for the time is at hand. Roughly paraphrasing, uh, Revelation 1 and uh, 3. Okay? Scripture tells you to seek your other book of the Lord and read, for no one of these shall fail, meaning the prophecies. None shall want a mate. Okay, you see, not a book could be compared to it. All right, it says, for, uh, for, for my mouth had commanded and his spirit had gathered them. Roughly paraphrasing Isaiah 34 and 16. You see, scriptures tell you, man, to uh, what's that? Uh, Romans, the 15th chapter, and the fourth verse, where it says, um, things written a fourth time was written for our learning, man. Okay, things written a four time, meaning from the ancient time. That's why the scripture tells you to look for the old path, man. You see? Let's get that. That's why the scriptures tell you to look for the old path. Uh, let's go here. The book of um, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 6 and uh, verse 16. It says... Thus said the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls. You see? It says, but they said, we will not walk therein. So you have, you have, you have the, the stubborn of our people, the rebellious of our people and the stiff neck of our people. The scriptures tell you how our people are stiff necked, man. You know, Baruch, uh, 2 and 30, you know, for the scriptures tell you, how, for I know they would not hear me, for there is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves, okay? So, the scripture tells you, Zechariah 13 and verse 8, that two-thirds of our people are going to be cut off and die here in the land, in Babylon, man, okay? But the one-third shall be brought through the fire. So, one-third is the elect, the remnant. It's a remnant that's going to be preserved, man. So that's those who are going to take heed to the word. And I know one right as I do, I pray that I'm of that number. I pray for the brothers and the sisters that believe from the elders all now. Okay? You see? So, those that are going to take heed to this word, uh, 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 continue to, 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 to follow the way of the righteous path, man, that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, has laid out through the spread, through his words. Okay, through obedience, being obedient to the word and, and worshiping the Lord in truth and in sincerity. Okay, uh, giving diligence to make a call and election sure and looking for the old way, the old path. You see, but it begins with taking heed to the word. The, the book of uh, Psalms 119 and verse 9 says, Beth, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereunto thy word, man. You see, the Lord speaks about his men. We just read it, uh, giving the Lord say you're going to give you pastors according to his heart. So you're going to see your teachers. Let's get that. Scriptures tell you how your eyes are going to see your teachers. That's why you have to look to the elders, man, the Saquon. The elder, or the uh, Saquon, Saquon Yum, elders. Okay? You got to look to the elders, man, because you need teachers at the end of the day to break this thing down to you. Okay? Um, let's get that real quick. The book of, um, and this is why you got to look for the, Look, look, look to the, for the old path, man. The, the scriptures say. Um, Isaiah, where is Isaiah? Isaiah 30 and verse 20. It's a, it says, And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, yeah, you go through things, you know? You go through things in life. You see? It says, And the water of affliction, 
Yet shall now, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. You see, you need somebody to break this down to you. Okay? Give you the heavy breakdowns. Train you. Bring you up. Have you rooted? Have you coming out to the camp? Have you uh, studying? You know? Study to show yourself approved unto the most high. You know? You got to get into the word, man. You got the scripture speaks about being able to give a, a quick answer. Only way to do that is you got to be studying, man. You see? Verse 21, it says, And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. Right? And you need the elders to help you do that, man. You know? You need teachers. You see? You need teachers, man. Let's let's go to uh let's go to um let's go to Ecclesiasticus otherwise known as Sirach. Let's go to the sixth chapter. We're gonna jump in here at uh let's jump in here at verse verse thirty two. Okay? Because you need to be taught, man. You need to be tutored in this thing. And it, it builds you up. To be led by an elder, you know, it's a beautiful thing. Okay? It says, um, My son, if thou wilt, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. Okay? Thou shalt be taught. And if thy and if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. Okay? Come wise. Hebrew word for, for wise is kukum. Okay? Stand in the multitude of elders. Okay? The sequanium. Okay? It says, Stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise. Okay? Be willing to hear every every godly discourse. Yeah, it says, let me read 34 again. Stand in the multitude of elders. Okay, and cleave unto him that is wise. You see, you want to cleave, cleave unto your teacher, man. Okay, it says, Be willing to hear every godly discourse, and let not the parables and of slack, like, let not the parables of understanding escape thee. It says, If thou seest a man of understanding, get thee betimes unto him, and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. So you gotta be you you gotta be right under your teacher, man. You're trying to learn. Okay? It says, let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thine heart, meaning your mind. Okay, the Hebrew word for heart is uh, lab, which means your mind, and give thee wisdom at thine own desire. You see that? You gotta meditate in this word, man. The scripture come to mind. Let's go. Let's go to the same book. Uh, same book, Ecclesiasticus, the thirty ninth chapter, the very first verse. It says, "But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient." Okay, the old way, the old path, man. You see, the way of the east, man. <laughs> You see, Jerusalem, man, and be occupied in prophecies. You see, plural, prophecies, man. You're going to be occupied in prophecies, man. You see, the will of the Lord, man. You see? And that's a very beautiful thing, man, which is a, <laughs> that's a gift, man. Wisdom is a gift. You see? And the scriptures tell you how every good gift comes from above. You see? So ain't no going around it, man. I'm going to stay in this chapter. I'm going to get uh, one more out of this chapter. Because when you come into this thing, something which you need to know. You need to look for the old path. You're going to need teachers. And as a way, when you enter into this thing, you must know that if you're being afflicted, or that you're going to be afflicted. That's a, part of, that's a part of this walk. So you need to know that. So let's stay right in this book. And let's go to Ecclesiastes, otherwise known as Sirach, the second chapter. We're going to read down to verse 10. Because when you come into this thing, when you first come into the, the, the truth, 
All right? This is something that you need to know. This is Ecclesiastes, as otherwise known as Sirach, the second chapter beginning at the first verse. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So you got to be ready. Prepare yourself. Okay? It says, Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Make not haste in time of trouble. It says, Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. So you have to cleave on to this thing, man. Cleave on to the word of the Lord. Okay? It says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. So you're going to be brought to a lower state. Okay? You see? you, you Because you, you're going to have to be proved. You're going to have to be tried. You see? You're going to have to not be of this world, as the scripture tells you. You're going to have to uh, uh, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So all that chasing a dream and running after the bag and, oh, you had a career to go after. You forget, forget about all that. The scripture speaks about giving yourself wholly over to the Lord. Holy. You see? That's where you can tend to his business, man. How shall I say it all the time? My, my meat is to do the will of the Lord, man, of his father. You see? So it says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Verse 5, it says, For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. That's what the book of Proverbs, the Proverbs, the third chapter tells you that. And uh, uh, fifth verse. Okay, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not on thine own understanding. Okay, acknowledge him in all thy ways and he shall direct thy path. That's what this scripture is saying right there. Verse six, believe in him. Trust in him, okay? He will help thee. Order thy way aright. Okay, and trust in him. It says, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest he fall. So you have to wait upon the Lord until the day that he rise up to the prayer, as the scriptures say. Verse 8, Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye, and you know the words of the Lord is faithful and true. All right? Your reward shall not fail. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. This is the point where I want to get. Verse 10, it says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did, uh, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despised that call upon him? You see? So you have to look for that old way, man. Look for that old path. Okay? The ancient way, man. Because things, you know, the, the Lord's law, statutes and commandments, his ordinances, Okay, that was given from ancient times, man. Now this 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 decrepit society where we in right now, man. But these people having you to do whatever you want to do. You could worship whatever you want. Two men could marry their one another. Two women could marry their one another. It's just pure madness. So this is why you have to look for the old way, man. Turn to the Lord and seek the Lord because the Lord is merciful. Okay, you see the scriptures say, "Let not your sins weigh you down," meaning. Don't, don't, don't condemn yourself, man. Okay, turn to the Lord and see what he would do with you. As it tells you in the book of Tobit, the, the 13th chapter and the 6th verse. Who know what he would do with you? You have to give the Lord a chance. Believe on his son. Believe on him and his son. Okay, believe on him through his son. Okay, you see? I'm going to read verse 11. It says, For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy and long-suffering and very pitiful and give it and and give and forgive its sins and save it in time of affliction, man. Okay, scriptures tell you how many of the trouble, many are, are the troubles of the righteous, but the Most High deliver them out of them all, man. Okay, Psalms uh, thirty-four verse nineteen. Okay, so at the end of the day, man, you gotta repent, man. 
Acts 3 and 19, repent ye therefore and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. You want your transgressions to be blotted out, man. You don't want them to be held, held against you. The scriptures say, if the Most High should have mocked iniquity, if the Lord should have, should have should have mark iniquity, who would stand? Nobody would be able to stand. So this is why you need your transgressions to be forgiven you, man. Okay? Scriptures tell you in the book of uh, what's that? Psalms 32. Okay? Blessed is he that uh, transgression is forgiven, man. Roughly paraphrasing it. You see? So, look look for the old path, man. Okay? Give, give give diligence to make a call on election. Sure, man. You see? And if you seek in the kingdom, wherein dwelleth righteousness, you know, the apostle Peter, which is the head of the church, the church to tell you to, to be diligent, man, if you seek such things. Okay? Second Peter is the third chapter, around about the 14th verse. If you seek in the kingdom, you seek in the return of our Lord, you know, hey, be diligent, man, so you be blameless and spotless, man, when the Lord returns. Okay? I'm going to get uh, one more passage and we're going to close it out. So the message is to, 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 to turn, turn, turn to the old path, man. Look to, toward Jerusalem, man, Jerusalem, the east, Quadam. Okay? Uh, I want to get, because this is what the Lord said to do, man. Okay? To the apostle. Um, Paul, this is First uh, Timothy chapter 4. And I start at verse 9. It says, This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. Okay? Read that again, verse 9. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living power. Okay? Whose name is Yahweh. Okay? Who is the Savior of all men Okay, through his son Yahweh Shai, Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. Okay, it's especially of those that believe. Okay, you got to believe on the Heavenly Father, beginning with his son. Okay, right now, through these times, we only could come uh, through the son. Okay, it says, uh, verse 11, these things command and teach. Let no man despise thy youth. But be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Till I come, okay, this is a commandment. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, encouragement, okay, to doctrine. You see? Doctrine is going into teaching and learning. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which is which was given thee by the by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Okay, that's going into the body of elders. Okay, the assembly of elders, man. Okay, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which is given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. You see, yeah, look for uh, this thing you got to be taught, this thing, man. You need teachers. That's why you got to look for the old path, the ancient, the elders, okay? Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them. Yeah, holy, man. That thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. You see? And them that hear thee. As a matter of fact, one more scripture comes to mind. Uh, what's that? Second Timothy, I think it is. Now let's get that. I'll, I'll close up with that. Second Timothy chapter, the third chapter, I think it is. Uh, Second Timothy chapter three, I'll start at verse fourteen. Yeah, it says. Um, it says. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. Okay. And who, who you learning from? Basically, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord put the Spirit on you to get into this thing. The Lord wake you up. Okay. That's First Peter. First uh, Peter 2 and 9. Where it speaks about uh, uh, bringing you into this marvelous light. So you ought to show forth the praise of him. 
that brought you out of darkness into his marvelous light, roughly paraphrasing. It's the Lord who wakes you up, man. Uh, what is it? St. John, the 6th chapter and the 44th verse where it speaks about the Lord raise you up and give you to his son, Yahweh Shai, and he'll raise you up in the latter days. Uh, 1044, call it on Yahweh Bashi Mel Shai. It says, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 14. It says, but continue thou into the things which thou hast learned, okay, and you learn through your teachers, the men of the Lord, and has been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them, your teachers, to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashi Mel Shai. Verse 15, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Mashiach Yahweh Shai. You see? I'm going to read the 16th verse and we're going to close it out right here. It says, all scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, in righteousness so the point being is to look for the old path man the old way the ancient way the way the lord set it up man the law statutes and commandments uh keeping them to the best of your ability at this time because we're not sovereign so we're rehearsing the righteous acts as the book of judges say judges 5 and 11 we're rehearsing okay which is a shadow of things to come but we we establish the law we don't make void the law we establish the law so, like, those plantation Christians like to tell you the, the law is done away with. That's not correct. Okay? We establish the law. You see? So, with that, I'm going to end it there, Lord willing, you will edify on to the next one. Shalom.